what we do here is go back, 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 back. So I'm using this red dot magnifier by Feachi and it works really good. It magnifies your existing red dot sight and makes it so you can hit at longer ranges more accurately. And if you don't want to use it, you want to go back to the normal red dot sight, you just push this button and it swivels out of the way for close quarters. And I really like it so far. It's worked great. And yeah, I'm going to do some more filming with it and we'll see how it goes but so far it's worked perfect and I'm really happy with it. It's about $80 on Amazon and I've seen other magnifiers very similar to this going for double the price and so far this thing has quality to it. It's worked great. You can focus in even further with it and then focus out and yeah I would recommend checking it out. I'm really happy with it so far. Alright guys, now that I got the fire extinguisher out of the way, let's go over this Feachi Red Dot Magnifier. So, it's really cool. You basically get the capabilities of a scope without taking off your Red Dot sight, and then also being able to press this button, swivel it out of the way, and get back to your normal Red Dot sight for close quarters shots, and then swivel it back, and then you got long distance. And this knob right here, you can turn it, and then it focuses in even further. But it also makes the sight pattern smaller. Or you have to get your face up a little closer to it. I haven't tried magnifying it yet, because how far it goes in without turning the dial is pretty sufficient for the distance I'm shooting at. But yeah. It's $80. It's by the company Feachi, who I get a lot of my accessories on Amazon from. They've been nothing but good to me with their products. And I've been very satisfied with everything I've gotten from them. And yeah, I mean, it's $80. It's a little cheaper because it's made in China. But in my opinion, on all their products, the quality is still there. So... It's definitely a gamble worth taking, and if you don't like it, it's from Amazon, so, I mean, it's super easy to return it, and then you got your money back. So it's, it's a win-win situation, and it's worth trying, and it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run, so what do you got to lose, you know? So uh, I'll do some shooting with this, so you can see it up close. 
We'll start out just regular with it swiveled out of the way. Try it with it out of the way. And then you just push the button, swivel it into place, and now you can see way closer than where you would if you didn't have it magnified. And my grass catcher is getting in the way. Got a double feed on that. So, this is kind of off topic, but I noticed once I put this on, this nut right here is getting in the way of my brass catcher. And that's the second double feed I've had so far since I put this on. So with that nut right there, it's not in a good spot to have a brass catcher on here. And the shells are either not collecting in the pouch or it's double feeding like you just saw. So I mean, you could probably move it back to fix that problem, but I really like where I've got it on my rail right now. So I'm just gonna run it like that. And like I was saying, there's comparable magnifiers from more well-known firearm accessory brands, and they're going for what I saw was at least double the price, about $160 to $200. This is only 80 bucks, and it's been working great for me today. Had no issues with it. So in my opinion, it's a great deal, and try it out, take advantage of it. You got nothing to lose. So off camera, I more than doubled the distance I was shooting at and I actually used the magnifier and I turned it and I hit the gong on my first shot from more than double where the first half of the video was filmed from. So I used my shooting stick so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can replicate that shot. Got it. And the hat's getting in the way too. That's that's for sure. Thanks for watching my video and supporting my channel. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. And check me out on Instagram at KJCounter1911. Have a good weekend and thanks for watching.